Hi, today's video is for those who have older computers, or even recent ones, but with less processing power. It is essential to know how to adjust some software settings in such a way that they can obtain the maximum possible performance from these machines and without compromising the functionality of the application. So, today, I will show you in just a few steps how you can get the best of your machine without exhausting those precious available resources. With SOLIDWORKS already open, let's start and create a new document. As an example, let's create a new part. Open a sketch, select the line tool, and then an arc, and use the revolve command to create a sphere. Revolve around this axis. We will now create a node with a cut extrude command. Okay, we have the sketch and make a through wall both direction cut. Let's apply a fillet on the edges. Some of you may have the real view option available. That will consume a lot of graphic power resources. See if you have shadow in shaded mode. If you have, you can disable it and ambient occlusion. You should disable it too. It will not make a ton of difference, but you can try to disable the background to plain white. Now, an important one. If you have instant 3D activated, please disable it. This is the one that will consume a lot of resources of your machine. Disable it. Now go to Options and click the Reset button. Click Reset All Options. Go to Search and deactivate the first and the second option. This will slow your computer. On indexing performance, let it be. Then go to performance and deactivate both of the transparency options. Click OK. While the model is in preview mode, where the surfaces are translucent, you probably will notice some deterioration on the appearance of the surface. This is normal. Click again on Options, now go to Performance, scroll down and click on Image Quality. You see those sliders? Adjust it to the maximum, try a medium value or a lower one. Click OK and see if it's all right to you. Now click on Add-ins, see if you have some add-in that you don't to use activated if you have it deactivated remove it from startup if you have found some of them that you really don't use you will notice the next time you start solidworks that will start faster at this point solidworks should be faster and as a bonus you may have gained some more stability on your system if you notice any problem, you can reset the settings as it were when you first installed SOLIDWORKS. If you like the suggestions in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to receive notifications when I post a new video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.